Hi, good morning. My name is Karen Stintz, and I'm the president and CEO of Variety Village. I decided to take this opportunity and explain why we had temporary closure last week. Our sump pump failed in the aquatics wing of the facility, and that meant that we had to turn off the water in that area. Unfortunately, this meant that we had no showers or working toilets in the women's change room, the family change room, or the men's change room for the pool, for the pool area. In an attempt to minimize inconvenience for our members and open the facility, we employed a temporary fix on our sump pump, which enabled us to open on Thursday at 11. Although the temporary fix is helping us keep the facility open in the short term, we do need to replace the sump pump, and that is a much larger job. Unfortunately, this means that we will need to close the aquatics wing of the facility on Thursday from 9 until 4, once again shutting off the water and having the showers and the water be unavailable in the pool area of the facility. That being said, the remainder of the facility will be open. The men's change room is open and the women's washrooms will be open by the cafeteria. We certainly apologize for this inconvenience as we know many of our members rely on Variety Village as a place to come to every day. We worked our hardest to make sure that we were open as soon as we could possibly be and we're working hard to make sure that this latest inconvenience is as minimized as possible. We also know that members are inconvenienced and out of pocket. Therefore, we are offering a two-week extension on your membership for all members who wish to take advantage of this. Please pick up your voucher at the membership office and register your intent to take advantage of this two-week membership so that we make sure that we can continue your service uninterrupted. There will be more facility upgrades in the future, as it is an aging facility, but we certainly do understand that planning and communication is very important for our members, so we will do our best to communicate as much as we can, as frequently as we can, and I will continue to use these town halls as a way to get the message out to our members. Thank you.